Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be cleaning out underneath my deck. Uh, my yard is extremely dry. We, we're in a drought. It's October. We have no rain. My back hill here is almost all dirt. But anyway, it's underneath my deck. It's where I keep my lawn tractor, my lawn mowers and stuff like that. And My wood's underneath that tarp. And this wood right here, if you've seen my past video where my son busted up the waterbed frame, it's in two garbage cans ready to go out. Could it all, I could I could have fit it all in one garbage can, but I don't want to make it too heavy for the garbage man. They got enough to do as it is, so I'm going to get busy and start cleaning up underneath here and kind of make a video when it's done. See you guys whenever I get done. Okay. No more wood back there. Whew, that's a job. I'm not quite done yet, but this would be some of my wood for the winter. <sighs> yeah, I moved it up here. One, it's got a roof over it. So I gotta fix that part up there again. I had that fixed not that long ago. But anyway, one, it's underneath the roof. Two, through the summer months, we had a lot of snakes get into our back door back here. And I believe they was living in the wood. So, I gotta redo this whole thing. It's a mess down here. Uh, I see a wasp nest up there. I'll be knocking that down soon. Oh. It's been so dry this year. I'll tell you what, owning your own house can be great, but lots of work. It's a never ending battle. I don't stop every weekend, I'm always doing a different chore. But I'd rather own and rent any day. But anyway, another reason I moved the wood up here, it's a lot easier because my son and I, we usually get the wood, put it in our stove, wood burning stove, and come through the basement doors there, and we can just walk right there. Last year, we come through there and Walking all the way back, it got old and getting the wood, you know. So it's a lot easier there. And what I'll be doing is I won't be getting any more wood probably till middle of the winter. And I got some wood over here I could split, and this might do me. I don't know if it doesn't. I got more wood to split. Oh, got the two garbage cans. I'm gonna actually probably burn that up too this winter, you know, for kindling. And I got some more yard, garden tools and yard tools to go inside the basement. I'm going to be cleaning up my lawn tractor, my two lawn mowers, and then tarping them down for the winter. And I'm going to show you guys something. Years ago, my Uncle Fred had an old wood burning stove. Here's the what's left of it. It's, it's in pieces. Eventually, I'm going to be getting that thing all cleaned up and put together. That wood burning stove, my friends, was actually in the Civil War. So I'm going to be redoing it. I found an old gas can when we first moved in here. Yeah, I like old things. I like historical things. I love the paranormal. <laughs> I'm different than most people. But anyway, uh, Skaven, if you ever watch this video, which I don't know if you watch my videos. <laughs> Here's the one that gave me the idea to come down here and clean this up. I was going to, but I was putting it off, and after I seen you clean your garage and your shed, I decided, well, shoot, I better get down there and do mine. So, this is it for right now. Tomorrow I'll come down, finish the rest. You guys have a great weekend for what's left. I'm gone.